Hey guys, so this is part two of my hot seat day. I'm answering the rest of the questions. Uh, the first video was 14 minutes. I know not one of you people watched that whole video. I, I wouldn't even watch that whole video. Um, but if you did, you're a rock star and I don't have a cookie to give you, but we'll pretend, I, I give you a cookie. Love, love, love for watching that first video if you did. Um, so these are Jenny's questions and then crystals, and then, oh, Laurel, I thought Shunda posted a question. <gasps> you bitch, you didn't. Um, Laurel did, so now I love Laura more, Laurel more than I love you. So, Team Low, not Team Shunda, it's our girl. Okay, Jenny's questions, why are you so freaking fabulous, girl? I love you, you're so funny. Uh, I'm not. And maybe it's the hair, I don't know, I don't know. You know, I was so non-fabulous for the first, like, 20 years of life. Um, I was such a tomboy, and I played street hockey and stuff with the guys, so I wasn't fabulous at all. I think that I didn't realize I had a rack till I was like 22 and then threw myself into fashion <laughs> or 21 rather. Um, so yeah, um, I'm so freaking fabulous now because I spent the first 20 years of my life not being fabulous and that's my bullshit answer for that. Um, will I take you shopping one day? Of course, that would be so fun. I love, love, love taking people shopping. It's the best. What's the best ad advice anyone has ever given me and the worst? The best advice... Um, career-wise is to plan and make lists. I think I would be incredibly lost if I didn't get up every morning and make to-do lists. I have like spreadsheets and lists and plans all over. I have a whiteboard. I have uh, spreadsheets printed out and tacked onto my whiteboard. I have lists on my computer. I have uh, stuff. So I really think that the best advice anyone ever gave me was to plan everything out. Um, and in life, the best advice anyone has ever given me is to not worry about the amount of friends that I have and just worry about the quality of the friends that I have. I used to have a million trillion friends. Um, but you know, if I was stuck like in the, you know, on the side of the highway three hours from home and I, you know, didn't want to call a tow truck for whatever reason, I don't know why I wouldn't call a tow truck. They'd probably be the first person I call. Um, you know, who would I call to come pick me up? You know I mean? When you, when you ask yourself that question, you kind of start figuring out who your real friends are. And I've got about five people that I would call. Um, so I think, you know, investing time in, in good relationships um, is, some, is, you know, the best advice I had. Not worrying about the number of friends you have, but more about the quality of friends that you have. Um, it's a big one for me. The worst advice? Um, I can't really think of any right now. I think the worst kind of influence or, or crap that I've, I've had I've had to hear a lot of times is to be very concerned with my weight um you know I used to be 60 pounds heavier than I am now so it's the size of a small bus and um you know it, it became a health issue but I mean it was something that was so all-consuming for me um so I think that you know crazy dieting being advised to do crazy diets and stuff I think would be some pretty shitty advice so bad diet bad bad diet um if I was to, what is this now? That's oh, right. I just clicked away. If I was told I had a million dollars and twenty four hours to spend it, what would it? Oh my God! I would take you guys shopping, all of you. Not Shinda, because she didn't leave me a question. But everybody else would could come shopping. Um, it's only you know a million dollars sounds like a lot of money, but it's not. I think I would um get on a plane, fly you bitches out to like L A or something, and then just spend what twenty five minutes on Rodeo Drive and walk away broke. Pretty easy. Um, so I would just, I'd have a blast. I would take the million dollars and have a blast with it. Maybe start in LA, shop there, go to Vegas, party out the rest of the night, and that's it. Uh, least favorite job I've ever had. I've always been pretty lucky. I worked in a, um, student loan place for a while as a marketing assistant. I don't really care for that. Um, so when I get to be famous, more famous than J.K. Rowling in terms of books and movies, will I pull a Steph Meyer and play blah, blah, blah. I'm just reading this hard myself. Um, what do you mean? Or would you rather be a college a main cameo? Um, I would... Okay, so the question, if you, since you're reading, watching this, hopefully, and not reading, um, she's asking if I would pull a Stephanie Meyer and make it all about me. Um, and I got to play Hayden. I got to have someone play Hayden, or get to have Hayden play Hayden. Um versus would I rather, I'm going to read the question because it's hard to explain. Um, so if my, if collides, if collide and bound remain to a movie, would I pull a Stephanie Meyer and fade to black during the sweet scenes on set and have a nickname like Landshade if it means I got to have Hayden play Hayden? Or would I rather not be a cock block, have, not have the sweet nickname or Lim Cameo and have some other actor? You know, I thought about this a lot because I was working with a film crew or I started talking to like a 
screenwriter for a while, um, to write Collide and make Collide into, like, shorts and stuff for YouTube. And, um, clearly nothing has come of that, so, yay. Um, but, you know, I spent a lot of time thinking about what I would do, and I think I would do whatever was best for the book. So if it meant that Hayden Christensen wasn't, wouldn't play Hayden Thompson, which totally works and they don't even, like, look like each other, um, I, I, w I would want what's best for the book. I would want what's best for the story, and if that meant, you know, my votes in, in what happened getting vetoed and, you know, the actors that maybe I didn't agree with get picked, but ultimately was the best decision, then I would just do what was best. Um, although I really want a nickname, nickname like Lampshade. I, I, <sighs> if I didn't have that epic nickname, I don't know what I would do. I would just be so sad. And the last, that was a good question though. Would I be, would I rather be a douchebag and have Hayden Christensen or would I rather not be a douchebag and not have Hayden Christensen? I would rather not be a douchebag. Um, what's the weirdest compliment someone has given me? The guy who dresses up as Jack Sparrow at um, Disneyland told me my hair looked like a squid. So, that was weird. He meant it as a compliment. Um, it was a little weird. So, thanks for the questions, girl. Um, okay, Crystal, name twin. Hey, girl. Um, her question's next. Favorite book character? You know, for a while it was Edward Cullen, I think, just because I was so caught up in the whole Twilight thing. Um, and I do think Edward is a great character. I know not very many people agree with me, but I do. Um... God, I really like, I should have planned ahead, because I did not have time to think of this ant at all. Um, mm, mm, mm. I'm going to say Edward, oh God, I hate saying Edward Cullen, it's so, so not. Um, I'm drawing a blank, I'm drawing a blank, I'm so sorry. I'm, so, I'm going to move on, and then I'm going to see if I can come back to it. Okay, favorite novel, ah, mine, <laughs> is that bad? I'm sorry. Um, you know what? I really like Emily Giffen stuff, um, and I think Baby Proof is, is my current favorite. I don't have, like, an all-time favorite, because I love the Twilights. Oh, The Art of Racing in the Rain. Okay, now I'm done. Favorite book character, Enzo. Favorite novel, The Art of Racing in the Rain by Garth Stein. If you haven't read that book, oh, that is the best book ever written. So, um, how long have I had my favorite pair of jeans? About three days. I just bought the vintage flares from Gap, and if you're into the whole, like, 70s vibe, which I'm not, actually, but but I love these jeans. I'm, I bought them three days ago. They're on sale. Gap, they're really good. Um, seriously, why am I... You girls with your nut. Aw, I am not awesome. You're awesome. Um, favorite song lyrics. Baby, you're a firework. Come on, let your colors... I don't know. Um, I like... I like Journey. Journey tends to do some really good song lyrics. Um, so I'm gonna go Don't Stop Believing. That's a good message good for kids and adults. Don't stop believing. Um, best vacation as a child. We used to go to Niagara Falls every summer for like eight years. Um, because we lived in Montreal and it was like a six hour drive. So my parents would take me and my sister and my brother. Um, we would go to Marineland. So that was always cool. I was like going to Marineland and Niagara Falls and all that stuff. I actually haven't been in about God, 12 years now. Um, and that's someplace I would love to go back. Best vacation as an adult. Ooh, I think, um, I go to Disneyland all the time, so, you know, I go to, I go to the same three or four places. I go to Disneyland, Vegas, Montreal, or Flagstaff, um, which is where, up, up, up by where, hus that their husband and I got married. So, you know, Disneyland is always a good one. Um, so thanks for the questions. And Miss Lowe, she, it took her two days to come up with one question. Wait, he's that brain power, sister. Um, she says, do you think that you can learn about someone based on the books they read? Explain. Um, I really do. I also believe that you can tell a lot about somebody based on their political party, but we're not going to get into that, are we? Um, I, I think so, because I think that, you know, people that read a lot of horror, you know, um, it's just a certain type of person that reads a lot of horror, and, um, a certain person who reads a lot of, like, me, I like the fairy tales. I like the, um... I don't read horror because I'm a chicken, so you can learn based on the fact that I don't read horror that I'm a chicken shit. Um, but I like I like fairy tales. I like happy endings. I like um, science fiction. Science fiction, which it pretty much sums me up. I'm a person who's a hopeless romantic that you know always wants love to win out in the end, despite the horrible perilous things that you have to go through to get what you want. Um, and I love sci-fi, so I'm a total dork. Um, so, yep, yeah, okay, this is long enough. Thanks so much for the questions, you guys. Um, if anyone posts any more questions after I post these videos, then I will, um, make another video if you guys are cool with it. If not, then tell me to shut up, and I will 
go back to typing. So yeah, thanks so much. Yay, hot seat. This is fun.